Hi everybody, it's me, Brad from Big Family Homestead, and in this video, I've got something pretty cool to show you. Uh, by accident, I kind of stumbled upon something that I think, I think, might be a very cheap, easy, affordable, EMP-proof, solar flare-proof, electromagnetic-proofing device thingy. So, here we go. Okay, now as we get started, I would like to first point out I am not a scientist, nor do I play one on TV. That said, when I do my experiment here in just a couple moments, I'm not, you know, doing the scientific method, and actually that's why I'm kind of showing this to you guys, so that maybe some of you big brain science people can uh, say yes or no, or this might work or that might work, but basically, so please do make sure that you put some comments down there. I'd love to see what you think. Uh, and well, you know, maybe this is gonna be great and easy and cheap, and maybe it's just cool for this little moment. But anyway, basically the other day, we were working on our long-term food storage stuff. You know, we we're putting stuff in Mylar bags, and you know, the rice in the bags and the buckets, and then in the yada yada yippee skippy. Well, then it just, it dawned on me. I was like, huh, I wonder what this Mylar bag would do if you put your cell phone in there and test it out. Like you guys have seen the test where people will put it in a microwave and they'll try to call it. Uh, and the other day I was fiddling around, I had a, an anti-static bag like you get when you get a video card and I put it in there and I was like, huh, it, it worked. It actually worked. It stopped the radio waves from coming in. So then I was like, oh, this has got to be interesting. Let's see what happens in a Mylar bag. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my little experiment and then, uh, well, let's just, you know, stop the jabbering and get to the experiment. Okay, so here we go. Here's my home phone, here's my cell phone. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dial my telephone number. And I'm gonna block the number in case there's any super freaks out there who wanna stalk me. No stalking allowed. So it should be dialing my cell phone right now. Let's see, come on, come on, come on. There it goes. Okay, see, home, right? Phase one, complete. So now I'm gonna take out a Mylar bag. I'm gonna put this phone into the Mylar bag. I'm gonna fold it up, fold it up, and it is in that bag, right there. So we're gonna try this again. And here we go, covering up the number again, but you can see that the phone is on. It is dialing, it is dialing, it is dialing. And we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. I'm gonna put the, uh, the phone up to my ear here. I don't know if you can hear that here. I'm gonna put it up to the mic. There we go. And we're waiting. As you can see, no cell phoneage. and it's gonna bump it to voicemail here in just a second because I tried it out before. Crazy. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. What do you think of that? So there you have it. I think it's pretty cool. Scientist people, let me know if this is only going to cover a small frequency band because my understanding is that when there's a solar flare or an electromagnetic pulse that it puts out a wide uh, wide range of frequencies and if this is only you know the mylar bag if it's only going to be covering a very small frequency band I guess it's something that you could use in addition to another protection but you let me know if it's just covering a very small band uh, maybe just the cellular band or or if it might be possible to use it on a on a cooler scale so anyway please share the video I'd love to hear some answers and hear your comments uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe. It does greatly help our family, and I greatly appreciate that. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and you have an amazing day.